Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a common problem that can creep in when you're working with table. And the problem is you have a table caption here. And even if I have a lot of space below the table caption, my table starts automatically on the next page. Even if I try to remove all the things between table caption and table, the table doesn't move with text. So it always starts on new page with respect to the space between table caption and a table. Here we are going to discuss four settings that can cause this kind of problems and their solution. Before starting, I am just going to turn on formatting options and to turn on that, go to home in paragraph group, click on this button. It will show all the formatting options. You can see that this kind of symbol is for a new life. And you know, if I press enter, I'll get all these kinds of symbols. Now, if I remove unnecessary new line, still you can notice that my table doesn't move and it always starts on the next page. And I don't have a page break here because if I had a page break, I should have seen that. So if I had a page break, I should have seen this thing if I turn the formatting option on. So I delete a page break, but still the table doesn't move. Problem here is the option with move with text is not enabled. To do that, just select the entire table, go to layout and here click on properties. In the table tab, go to positioning and in the options, click on move with text and click OK. And you just see that table has moved with text and I have one line between table and table caption. So I will delete that line and the table nicely moves with caption. And there is no additional space. Second problem that can cause this issue is repeat row headers. Repeat row headers is selected on entire table by mistake. Tables will always start on the next page. To solve that problem, select the entire table, then go to layout, click on repeat row headers, and you will see that once I uncheck repeat row headers, the table has moved with caption. If you want to repeat header rows, then you can select the header row that you want to repeat and then click on repeat header rows. Let us say this is my header row. I select the entire row and click on repeat header row and you can see that header row was repeated. Third problem that can send table to the next page or that can make table start on the next page is with the page breaks before setting. Now, even if I have a page break before setting with the formatting option turned on, I don't see a page break. However, there is a trick. You can see a black dot here this black dot means that option is selected. This black dot is an indication that page break before option is checked. To undo that, select the row on which this option is checked or you can also select the entire table. Then go to home tab in paragraph group, click on this arrow to get more options. In the paragraph window, go to line and page break and here uncheck page break before box. Then click OK and you see the table automatically moves towards the table caption. The fourth problem that can create this kind of issue is you have selected an option of keep with next. I have a lot of space here. You can see so much space, but the table is starting on the next page. The problem here is the option of keep with next is selected for the entire table. To solve that, select the entire table. Again, go to the home tab, click on this arrow. In the paragraph group to view more settings and then uncheck the box against keep with next click ok and you can see table has moved towards the caption so these are all the four different options that can force table to start on the next page and solutions to those problems so that's all in this video i hope you like this video this video was useful to you and if that's the case please let me know by pressing the like button and if you want to see more amazing tips and tricks on Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. You can consider subscribing to my channel and press the bell notification icon so that whenever I publish a new video, you get a notification. That's all. Take care. Bye-bye. See you in next video.